uh, a collection of volunteer runners were then pooled and gathered. Those individuals, their biomechanic circumstances were evaluated. Individuals that had extreme uh, characteristics, structural characteristics of the foot, either severely uh, high arched feet or rigid feet or feet that were extremely flexible or very flat feet were eliminated from the study. Individuals that had relatively average or normal feet were included. Also individuals who had a high uh, incidence of callus formation were eliminated from the study. Individuals that showed pinpoint or localized pressure in areas of the foot, which we might predict would, under even the most minor circumstances, develop injuries to the skin. From that we did uh, repeated uh, run and test uh, sequences. These run test sequences involved individuals actually recording their individual training logs, recording in the amount of time they ran, uh, the nature of the run they were on, the shoes they were utilizing. Throughout this time they were utilizing socks that were coded for the purposes of the investigator, but the runner was unaware of the nature of the extent of the fiber that was present in the sock. The construction of the socks were nearly identical. In fact, I took it to several of my professors in medical school and asked them to identify the, the, the two fiber types in the two different socks. And among all of the professors, they were unsuccessful at identifying correctly the fiber that was present in the sock. So after replicate measurements, the data was then pooled, and then we were able to statistically make comparison uh, between the two types of socks.